Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, gorgeous looking can, looks familiar. But just go ahead and tell me what we're drinking. <laughs> it looks familiar because we've been sitting on it for, I don't know, a month, month and a half since yeah, we got the sounds awesome right. beer package from uh, Steven, aka The Resource. Uh, so this is a beer from Counterweight Brewing Company. All right. And they're out of... Cheshire, Connecticut. Cheshire. Cheshire. And uh, this is their Cool Ship Keller Beer. Ooh, I like that Keller that. Beer. That's a nice looking That's label right there. Label. So beer. it's a German style right. lager. Yeah. Zachelbier. Zachelbier. Uh, 4.9% ABV. Okay. Had to break up the old man spectacles okay. there. Uh, the biggest lock code I've ever seen. Don't uh, have to move your glasses for that one. And. <laughs> Open World Adventure, 11, 24, 23. <laughs> oh, she's an old one. She's an old one. Right. That's, That's okay. okay. Steven specializes in aged beverages. <laughs> uh, don't really say much about the beer as far as hops. It's topless. Uh, what was it? Franconian? Yeah, yeah, Franconian malts. Okay, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. hops from the same region. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. We're happy to share our Cool Ship Keller beer with you. Expressing well-defined malt character with an herbaceous hop presence. Drink fresh in the company of friends. Oops. Yeah, we we'll got we'll one half of it. Yeah. Well, we're in the company of friends, but not, not so fresh. It's old. She's just brought that to get out of the can. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. I, I think it has well, more to do with it's really hot out, and when things warm up, I, it does that. I can't tell you how many times I, I grab a Wegman seltzer water out of the fridge, and I forget about <laughs> yeah. it, and it has time to warm just enough so when I open it, it just... You can just shower yourself in seltzery goodness. Yeah. Um, so, that looks like a nice little Keller beer. It's a slightly dulled orange straw color. Yours looks like milk if you don't move your hand. Oh, yep, there's beer in there. Oh. Uh, not a whole lot of carbonation to be found. There are bubbles rising, but it almost looks flat. I'm going to try and get a whiff, as will Dan. Actually, it's very fragrant. Ooh, it is. Very yeasty, bready, but like kind of fruit, fruity bread. Yeah. Orange, like strawberry. Has a really big floral presence. Yeah, very much so. Almost reminds me of like a, a, a jasmine rice lager with the, the floral aspect to it. Yeah, I like a good jasmine rice lager. I just had one. Did you? By Frequentum. They make a good jasmine rice lager. That grow one they did with the cherry they, blossom in there. I checked in. I said, "Hey, it's a rice lager. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rice lager. I like the rice lager." Uh, no, this this smells fantastic, especially yeah, for bright. the age. For it the just, age, it's very bright and the, yeah. it smells very fresh. Like a little, little lemony zip. Do da day. Cheers. Day. Thanks, resource. Oh, I felt like Rihanna there for a minute. Hey oh hey oh. oh. <laughs> Is that the umbrella song? Ella, 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 Ella. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Tastes like an old beer, a little bit. I was just thinking that. I was like, yeah, it, it tastes old. Uh, the malt character is much more pronounced. Mm -hmm. I got a feeling this would have been really kind of floral and just... Um, I keep saying floral, sorry. It uh, is floral, I uh, completely agree. But I, I feel like it... Probably would have came off pretty kind of spicy, peppery. Okay. Um, I feel like the nose would have carried over a lot more. Like, I think those flavors would have been, it would have been just as bright as the aroma is. For, uh, it's kind of like a underside to medium body. Mouthfeel is, it's crisp but soft at the same time. Yep. I don't know, it's weird. It's like having a girlfriend with two split personalities. Um, I mean, it's good, but I feel like there's a better beer is it, as it's fresher. Do you get like a little orange? Yeah, a little kind of orange. It's, it's like, <laughs> it's like when the orange is starting to get a little old, <laughs> much like the beer. Okay. Um, but I think those, those notes are there. Like there's the bready cracker yeast goodness. There's a, a fruit note. It's just, all of it is kind of a remnant. Of what the beer probably was yeah. fresher. Uh, finish, I mean, that's eh, kind of hefty, kind of syrup, like not syrupy, but it this stays on the palate for 
a while. Longer than you think it would for like a sub five percent, you know, lagery kind. I thought it would finish a lot more crisp and dry. Yes, um, I it's definitely carbonated. Um, so, it's weird. Some sips are not as carbonated for me, and some of them are like, oh, there's That's some carbonation. It's, it's bipolar in it's the glass. What do you want to do? What do you want to rate it? Yeah, I mean, I'll give it like a... I'll give it a 3.6 for what it is right now. Yeah. I think it's a lot higher if it's fresh. I mean, we know Counterweight makes delicious beer, yeah. so... Yeah, I mean, for what it is, what I'm drinking, 3.5. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to be honest, probably the only reason I'm reviewing it is because Steven sent it in a beer mail. Yeah, we're Otherwise, shackled by Steven. Well, no, either, either way, I... I, I wouldn't review it. We still have, like, science episodes we kind of wanted to do. You could almost make this a science. Yeah, it could have been a science episode. FLX! Science! FLX, working title. Uh, <laughs> all right, gang. Uh, yeah, anyway. Steven, thanks for the yeah. beer. Uh, down below, yeah. Link sure, trees. we've got link trees. Just yeah. click on something. All Do right, that gang. for science. Uh, again, thanks, resource. Hot out. Get your beer in. Hydrate. Yeah, cheers. <laughs>